Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy and welcome back to part two of the Astronomy of the Ancient Greeks. Today we're going to have a look at the full moon and the angular size of the moon to find the distance to the moon and the sun in terms of the diameter of the Earth. Then we'll use the Eratosthenes experiment to find the size of the Earth and we'll use that to come up with some numbers for the distances to the moon and the sun and their sizes. So cue up the music and let's go. All right, so we're going to have a look at the full moon and see if, what that can tell us about the distance from the Earth to the moon, the size of the moon, and the distance from the Earth to the moon and the Earth to the sun in terms of the diameter of the Earth. So we'll start off with the easy one first. The angular size of the full moon is 0 0.519 degrees, about 31 arc minutes. That equals 0 0.519 degrees over 360 degrees. Well, what's the 360 degrees from? That's the 360 degrees of the entire orbit. Now, once we know that, we realize that the diameter of the moon over 2 pi times the radius of this orbit, which is the distance from the Earth to the moon, those are equal proportions. Now, by doing a little bit of rearrangement here, what we can come up with is 0 0.519 degrees over 360. And we'll bring the 2 pi up here, equals the diameter of the moon over the distance to the moon. Pretty straightforward. Now if we go ahead and work this out on the calculator, we have is 0 0.519 times 2 times pi equals, divided by 360 equals, that equals 0 0.009. So the diameter of the moon compared to the distance from the Earth to the moon equals 0 0.009, just like that. Well, while that was interesting to know, what we really want to know is the distance to the sun in terms of the diameter of the Earth. Well, how do we relate these? We need to convert this to something that we have an understanding of. Now, now you recall from our first part where we looked at the solar eclipse, we looked at the radius of the moon over the di distance to the moon as being equal to the radius of the sun over the distance to the sun. That was a proportion. We can also look at as the diameter of the sun over the distance to the sun equals the diameter of the moon over the distance to the moon, because you're just multiplying the radius by two. So let's go see if that'll help us out at all. So if we come back down here, let's take this equation, and let's put out the distance to the sun over the diameter of the sun. That's going to be, we gotta put the diameter of the Earth on the bottom, but what do we have to put on top? Well, we have to put the diameter of the sun on top just to balance this out. So if you factor out the diameter of the sun from this equation, you end up with the distance to the sun over the diameter of the Earth, which is our original equation. Now you may wonder why we came up with this ratio right here. Well, the answer is right here. Because the diameter of the sun over the distance to the sun equals the diameter of the moon over the distance to the moon. And there is the diameter of the moon over the distance to the moon. So, you see how these terms are related to each other? They're just inverted. So let's go ahead and have a look down here. So the distance to the sun over the diameter of the Earth would be the same as the distance to the moon over the diameter of the moon. And as we see right here, that, zero, that ratio is 0 0.009. However, we have the diameter on the bottom here, and it's on the top here, so we have to invert this. So that's going to equal 1 over 0 0.009 times 
well, what's the diameter of the sun compared to the diameter of Earth? We already have that as well. That equals 109. So what we end up with here is 109 divided by 0 0.009 equals 12,100. And that's the diameter, or that's the distance to the sun over the diameter of Earth. Now, we can use this same trick to figure out the distance from the Earth to the moon. All we have to do is exchange the diameter of the suns for diameters of the moon. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do it right over here. Once again, this is pretty easy to do. Let's just bring it right down here. So the distance to the moon over the diameter of Earth equals the, the distance to the moon over the diameter of the moon, which is 1 over 0 0.009 times the diameter of the moon over the diameter of the Earth. And as you recall, the Earth is 3.6 times the diameter of the moon. So the distance from the Earth to the moon is about 30.86 Earth diameters. Well, shucks, I think we have all our numbers now. Let's figure out what the radius of the Earth is, and then we'll get the answers to all of these questions. And to do that, we're going to go back to our friend Eratosthenes. This is something that we can all do at home. Now, with Eratosthenes, he knew that on a certain day of the year, there was this well in Syene, and the sun shone directly down that well. In Alexandria, the sun cast a shadow on a stick of 7.2 degrees. 7.2 degrees over 360 degrees because there are 360 degrees in a circle, equals this distance right here, which is 500 miles by pi times the diameter of Earth. And pi times diameter of the Earth, of course, is the circumference. So now all we have to do is a little simple math, 7.2 times pi over 360 times 500 equals 1 over the diameter of Earth. Now we can reverse this and just flip it around and we can get 360 times 500 divided by 7.2 times pi equals the diameter of Earth. So let's go ahead and do the math for that. And there we go. The diameter of Earth is 7,957. Now let's go see what we can figure out here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over everything real quick. So we have the distance to the sun over the distance to the moon equals the diameter of the sun over the diameter of the moon, and that equals 390. The diameter of the Earth over the diameter of the moon, 3.6. Likewise, the diameter of the sun over the diameter of the Earth is 109. The distance to the sun over the diameter of the Earth is 12,100, and the distance to the moon over the diameter of the Earth is 30.9. Now, our diameter of the Earth is 7960. The reason I've got 7960 miles is that we're only dealing with about three significant digits on these numbers, and we don't want to put in accuracy that doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and get some numbers here. So. Here's our diameter of Earth times 30.9 gives us a distance to the moon of 246,000 miles. Gives us a distance to the sun of 96.3 million miles. The diameter of the sun over the diameter of Earth looks like about 868 
868,000 miles. And let's look at the diameter of the moon. That would be the diameter of Earth divided by 3.6. That gives us our diameter of the moon. And then finally, let's just do a quick cross check. Let's look at the distance to the moon. 246 times 390 equals 95,940. So we're very close right there. The actual figures are 238,000. 859 for the distance to the moon. So we're off about, oh, 8,000 right there. About 4%, maybe a little bit less. Distance from the Earth to the moon, 92. 92.3 million. We're 4 million off there. Again, 4%. Diameter of the sun. We're less than 3,000 miles off here. That's not bad. And the diameter of the moon? Now again, these errors that you see here, which account to less than 4%, are probably due to rounding and measurement errors. But the geometry itself is correct. We didn't approach this type of measurement accuracy until the transit of Venus in the 18th century. And this is something that we can all do at home. I've personally done the Eratosthenes experiment a number of times, as have several of my friends, and we get a pretty good radius of the Earth from it. You can do this at home, and then that's a great way, especially in the homeschool situation, to lead into the geometry and the mathematics behind it. Now you know how to do it. Now I want to give a shout out to Physics Explained one last time for all the research that he put into this and the fact that I simply remade a lot of his video with just a couple of additions. So, this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you again for stopping by. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Go on down and give Physics Explained a like and subscribe as well. Take care, guys. Bye.